everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. Sir. Um, today's class, we're going to do what we call sun salutation A. So sun salutation A is a good, also a good way to start your day. Um, if you want to warm yourself up uh, before you go take a shower and stuff. Yeah, so if you want to start your day, this is the best uh, exercise that you can do because it stretches every part of your body. So we're going to do it in a simpler uh, way. First, I'll demonstrate the actual uh, sequence, but we're going to break it down into simple uh, uh, way of doing it if you're a beginner. But I'm always uh, bearing in mind that um, I'm reaching out to beginners. And if you've done power, uh, not power, <laughs> sun salutation before, this will be a good way to start your day. So I'll start by demonstrating how it's done, the normal way, then we'll look at the where we can modify the sequence. All right. So first, let's start our class with three deep breaths. Huh? So I'd like you to roll your shoulders up and back. Mm -hmm. Bring your hands to your heart center. And you may close your eyes. Huh? Good. Now let's begin this session with three deep breaths. So together, take a deep inhale. Exhale. Inhale again. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Gently open your eyes. Hands by your side. Samastiti. So, this is called mountain pose or Samastiti. Good. Alright, so we'll come to the top of our mats. So, the big toes touching. So your heels will separate, so don't force them together. All right, again, roll the shoulders up and back. Then find your breath, so find your breath. So in the next video, we'll learn how to breathe, the Ujjayi breath, the yogic breath. So I'm going to demonstrate the actual, and then we'll break it down. Good. Now inhale, reach your arms up. Your palms touch. Then you look at your thumbs. Exhale, we fold. So slightly bend your knees. So let your belly touch your thighs, fingertips on your mat. Then let your head go all the way to your knees. Now inhale, lift up your head, look forward. So fingertips still on the mat. Exhale, bend your knees more, then step back. Good. So after stepping back, inhale, come to a high pusher position. Good. As you exhale, chest first. Go all the way. Low push-up or Chaturanga Dandasana. Then turn your feet. Inhale, press, lift. Thighs off the mat, knees off the mat, glutes are relaxed. Then exhale, tuck your chin, round your back, push, push, push back to downward facing dog. So we'll hold here. We normally hold here for five breaths. Good, but if you're a beginner and you have a problem being here, it's good to hold it for three breaths. Then while here, try to bend your knees one after the other just to awaken your hamstrings and at the same time stretch your curls good so after the fifth breath let's try to walk I always like walking with straight knees because that way it's an intense stretch good but um, if you find yourself you can't walk it's okay to bend your knees then you can come to your fingertips then finish that walk so when you reach your hands so fingertips still on the mat now slightly bend your knees all right now inhale lift up your head then exhale we bow forward good now from here inhale reach up your palms touch look at your thumbs and exhale Samastiti. So now for beginners, this is what you're going to do. 
Now inhale, reach your arms up. So if your palms cannot touch, it's okay to be in this position, all right? But with time, you'll be able to bring your palms to touch because eventually, this is the eventual posture. But if you can't, okay, due to tighter shoulders, you can do this, all right? So after that, inhale. Now exhale, bend your knees. Now bring your fingertips all the way to your mat. Then let your head drop. After that, inhale, lift up your head. Look forward. Exhale, bend your knees more. Then step back. Good. So from here, inhale, come to a high push-up position. Good. Now as you exhale, drop your knees. Point your feet. Then bend your elbows. So the elbows are bent towards you, not to the side, but in. So this is what I mean. <clears throat> From uh, the front. Uh. So I'm bending the elbows that direction, to the back, and not uh, to the side, because we have to protect our wrists. All right? So we take the elbows in, all the way down. All right, so now from the side view, this is how it looks. So we were uh, in high push-up, then we dropped our knees, point your feet, then let your chest come down. So let your chest come all the way down. Now position of the hand, so slightly shift your hands back. Feet pointing, now press, inhale, lift up. Good, so if lifting up is hard for you, you can do what we call the pulling cobra. This is where now you bring your hands in front of you, this way. So we'll start with the palms. So your palms turned that way, the four fingers there, then you do this. Then what you're going to do is to turn your hands that way. So let me come back to the mat. Then you're going to press down. Press, then you lift up your head. Then exhale. Bring your hands by your side. Press, lift, then push back to downward facing dog. Good. So my suggestion for beginners is bend your knees. After you've bent your knees, now push your chest towards your thighs. And breathe. One, two, and three. Good. Now look at the space between your hands and try to walk. Walk. Good. So you'll reach a point where you can't go past. My suggestion is just come to your fingertips, then keep walking. Walk. When you reach your hands, feet together. Slightly bend your knees. Inhale, lift up your head. And exhale. We fold. Now from here, inhale, come up. You can bring your palms to touch or hands wide open and exhale. Samastiti him. Now for those who aren't able to bring their legs together, okay fine, the feet are together, but the moment they bend, their knees open. So my suggestion is just separate your feet, all right? Such that now when you inhale, just exhale from there. Just bend your knees that way. All right, so we'll do that uh, with our feet wide for those who cannot, uh, who are not able to fold with their knees together. So let's do it with our legs apart, see how it looks like. Uh. Good, so feet separated about hip width distance. Good, shoulders rolled up and back. Inhale, reach your arms up. Good, so make a slight back bend. So the back bend is from your upper back. Inhale. Now exhale, start to bend your knees. Keep extending your arms forward. Come all the way down. Fingertips on your mat, then let your head drop. Good, now from here, inhale, lift up your chest. So knees are still bent. Now exhale, bend more. Place your palms down, then step back. There you go. Now inhale, come to a high push-up. Looking forward, now exhale, drop your knees, point your feet, now bend your elbows. 
chest down. Good. Now slide your hands back. So hands next to your rib cage, point in your feet. Inhale, lift up. Look up, glutes relaxed, and exhale. Tuck your chin. Now see if you can round your back to downward facing dog. <coughs> and let's hold here. So bend your knees again. Now push your chest towards your thighs. And hold here. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. Now look forward. Now try to walk again. Good. When you reach a point where you can't move your legs, come to your fingertips, then finish the walk. Good. Feet together. Good. So since we are dealing with those who can't bring their knees together, separate your feet. But usually bring our feet together. Okay, now inhale, lift up your head. Then exhale, we bow forward. And good. Now from here, extend your arms forward, knees bent. Inhale, come up. Knees straightened. Look at the space between your hands. And exhale. Some here. Good. All right. <clears throat> so if you have any question, you can leave the questions on the comment section. And um, have fun while at it. Thank you so much. On to the next one. Namaste.